بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه لا عند نعم والله ما ذا peace and blessings of Allah be upon his final messenger Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم his companions and all those who follow him until the day of judgment until the last day last last week we covered or the week before right we covered the ayah the ayah where Yaqub alayhi salam tells ayah 70, uh, ayah 87. When Yaqub alayhi salam tells, tells his children, idhabu to find Yusuf, fatahassasu, right, fatahassasu, and find Yusuf alayhi salam, and his brother bin Yamin, look for him. Search for him, inquire about him, and don't lose hope because a sign of la lack of Iman, right? A sign of lack of Iman is Don't lose hope in the in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Innahu la yaisu. إِلَّا الْقَوْمِ الْكَافِرُونَ Those who disbelieve are those that lose hope in Allah. So the believers don't lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? Now, fast forward. They arrived into Yusuf alayhi salam. فَلَمَّا دَخَلُوا They entered. عَلَيْهِ قَالُوا يَا أَيُّهَا الْعَزِيزِ So they have to, they want to request something, right? They're looking for something. So they have to ask in the best manner. Right, and ya here is ada al nida. Ya is nida. Ya ayyuhal aziz. Oh, oh aziz. Oh, you aziz. Our family suffered, right? Masana wa ahlana ad dur wa jitna bi bida'atin muzjatin fa awfil lana al kail. We come with a small, a small merchandise, right? Please give us our, our complete load, the load that our family, that each member receives, which each, each member is like a camel's load. Be charitable towards us, right? Be charitable towards us. Inna Allah yajzil mutasaddiqeen. So they know what Allah, they, they know about Allah. So they said, verily, Allah rewards those who give charity. Inna Allah yajizi al-mutasaddiqeen. Allah rewards those that give charity. So now, Yusuf alayhi salam qala, Hal alimtum ma fa'altum bi Yusuf wa akhi idh antum jahilun. Don't you remember what you did to Yusuf and his brother when you guys were ignorant? So he's giving them the benefit of the doubt. Why? Because... If a person is ignorant, then therefore, he doesn't require the sin. Right? He could have said, he could have said, remember what you did with Yusuf and Benjamin, and you were certainly, and you knew about it, you were aware of it, you knew about it, you had knowledge of it, therefore there's more accountability with knowledge than with ignorance. That's why if you don't know, you commit a sin, and you don't know it's a sin, when you're reminded, you, you're accountable after that reminder. Yes, you make istighfar, but you're, you're accountable afterwards. So here, fast forward, we are now in Ayah 90, 93. Ayah 93 is, so after they, after they knew, they found out, the brothers found out that he is Yusuf. Yusuf said, Ana Yusuf, wa akhi, and this is my brother, right? Hada Yusuf, wa hada akhi, right? This is Yusuf, and I am Yusuf, and this is my brother. Qadamanna Allahu alayna, Allah favored us, Allah gave us His reward, His blessings, right? Innahu man yattaqi, innahu man yattaqi, wa yasbir, whoever has taqwa, and is patient. This is Another sifat of the believer. What is it? One is that he doesn't lose hope in Allah. 
Number two, yattaqi, has taqwa, is God conscious. Number three, wa yasbir, and is patient. So you can take those lessons that what are the sifat of the believers from these ayats? Sifat is that they are God conscious, that they don't lose hope in Allah, and that they're patient to endure anything that comes their way. Wa yasbir. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُدِيعُ أَجْرَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And those that do that, they're good doers. And Allah does not let to waste the reward of those who, are, who do good. قَالُوا تَاللَّهِ لَقَدْ أَثَرَكَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْنَا وَإِن كُنَّ لَخَاتِئِينَ Now they said, by Allah, we, we were of those that committed a major mistake. We were wrong. They recognized their mistake. What did Yusuf say? Right? When they said that, uh, Yeah, they accepted. So look, Yusuf said you were ignorant. Yeah. Then they said, Kunna la khati'in. We were of the wrongdoers. We were, we were mistaken. Khata, mistake, right? We were mistaken. Kunna la khati'in. What did Yusuf alayhi salam said? قَالَ لَا تَثْرِيبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْيَوْمِ Right? No, no reproach for you on this day. يَغْفِرُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ May Allah forgive you. Allah will forgive you. وَهُوَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ And he is, the, he is the most merciful. He is the merciful. He is merciful. The most merciful. الرَّاحِمِينَ the most, the, the most merciful of the merciful. Right? Anybody who shows mercy, he is the most merciful. Allah, nothing surpasses. Surpasses Allah in His mercy. Now comes the ayah. So all of this, look. They're guilty. Yusuf with his big heart. Another characteristic of the believer is what? He's forgiven. The believers are forgiven. They have the capacity to forgive. Look at this. The Prophet ﷺ was driven out of Mecca. 13 years he lived in Mecca, calling the people, and he was driven out of Mecca from his people. Right? Goes to Medina. The message in Medina, 10 years. 23 years. 23 years to return back home. Right? To open Mecca. Right? And now, they suffered torture. They were killed. They were abused. They were mocked. They were laughed at. They were, I mean, so many things. They were boycotted. So many, like, things that maybe a nation experiences, they experience all of those type of things. Right? Now, the Prophet ﷺ is in the haram. And he tells the people, so, what do you think I will do with you in this day? Right? And he said, I say to you what Yusuf said to his brothers. لا تثريب عليكم اليوم يغفر الله لكم no, no reproach for you on this day. And that's why he said to all, those that are in the houses, no reproach on you on this day. يغفر الله لكم And they entered in, in, in massive numbers into Islam. Because look at this, they did all of this and their response was, you are, you are the best of us. You are the son of the best of us. And he said, La tathribu alaykum al-yawm. He could have said, you're done. You're done. And it was legitimate. He could have gotten revenge. And, 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 and it wouldn't have been a problem because they suffered. Because the Prophet suffered. He was injured in Uhud. Right? But he still had the ability to forgive. Now, this is who we follow. He doesn't follow us. Let's try to understand that. He is who we follow. We, he doesn't follow us. What does this mean? That we should follow him and nurture in our soul our ability to forgive. Right? He is who we follow. And he shows that he demonstrated this. Yusuf salam demonstrated this as well. All that hardship, you know, thrown in the well, beat before he was, he was abused, physically abused, thrown in the well, cursed at, 
taken by strangers, raised in the house of strangers, te- you know, sought to be seduced, thrown in the prison, got out of prison, right? All of this, all of these phases, his father lost his sight, all of this suffering, and still has the capacity to forgive, right? Now he, now the authority is in his hand. He says, "Idhabu, idhabu, wau alif." That idhabu, wau alif means idhabu antum. All of you, go back. Idhabu bi qamisi hada. Go with my shirt. Go with this shirt of mine. Bi qamisi hada. Faalquhu ala wajhi abi. Yati basiran. Wa'atuni bi ahlikum ajmain. So let's do the reading now, inshallah. So ayah, let's, somebody reads for me 90, 93. And then inshallah we'll go through the meaning. I don't want to go to the tafsir right away. Let's, that was just a summary. Okay. <laughs> that was just a summary of the previous class. Because it was so nice, right? That, that, that was so, I mean, we can stop here and khalas. I mean, mashallah. <laughs> we have so many lessons we got from here. Now is the grand reunion. We can reunite. We reunited now. I came back, right? We could re- see the reuni- reunion of Yusuf and Yaqub next week. Right? No huh? No to be continued. Yeah. We don't like soap operas when they say to be continued. <laughs> it is really annoying. Like, if they leave you, it's like a cliffhanger. Like, uh, uh, what's going to happen? No. Okay, let's, let's continue today, inshallah, because that's our intention. Okay, 93. Ninety-four. Ninety-five. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. In the when you say ala wajhihi, just prolong a little bit. Because of the ya sagira. Ala wajhihi. There's a ya sagira. Oh, it's okay. It's in uh, 90, 97, inshallah. Mm. Okay. So there again, now they they... They, they recognize their sin, their mistake to their father. <laughs> they admit it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're ignorant. Now. Yusuf said they were ignorant, but now they admit it. No. No. Mashallah. Good. 98. Astaghfirullah. Ninety nine. Father of no, let me have someone else, Brother Yusuf. Someone else. 
Nine and one hundred is that. That's a long one. Father Sarah, since you have a Houston hat and we won, right, by a good number, a good amount, then you have. Uh, <laughs> you know, Jay. Good, so we'll do one, we'll do one to 100, because ayah, uh, next week we'll just do ayah 101. Is Prophet, you, yeah, just next week, just 101. 101 is Yusuf uh, uh, acknowledging all the favors of Allah upon him. So we just reflect upon that, right? Rabbi qadi ataytani min al-mulk wa alamtani min ta'wil al-ahadith. فاطر السماوات والأرض أنت ولي ولي في الدنيا والآخرة وتوفني مسلما وألحقني بالصالحين. So he's making dua. He's he's acknowledging Allah's favor upon him and he's making dua that make me die as a Muslim. Right? He acknowledges all the ni'ma and he rec he, rec he recognizes Allah as as you know the the one who Clefts the, the heavens, Fatir samawati wal ard. He is the protector. And then he says, Tawafani Musliman. Make me die as a Muslim. Wa al bi salihin. And make me join the righteous. All those that came before him. All the righteous that came before him. And those after as well. So inshallah we'll go to the ayah. So let us, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In English, in Gleezy. Somebody read for me the ayahs in Gleezy. Okay. Go with this heart of mine and follow the faith of my father. And he will turn into a sighted man and bring to me all your friends. So let's do this. Do, do 94 also, two each. So who didn't read? So you do two, two. Who else didn't read? Brother Hafiz, you have the English? Okay. Okay, khalas. You have a legitimate excuse. Anybody else didn't read? Brother Amsha, did you read Arabic? Okay, so you can get to ayahs in English too, inshallah, okay? <laughs> Why you give it? They want to read it. Okay, inshallah. So, okay, so do it half and half. So do the first three, okay? Fatali says 93 to 95. Okay, next, Sister Khadija, 96 to 98, inshallah. Then when the bearer of the good news arrived, he cast the shirt over his face and his vision returned. He said, did I not tell you? I know from Allah that which you know not. They said to our Father, ask forgiveness from Allah for our sins, and indeed we have been sinners. He said, I will ask my Lord for forgiveness for you, and really he only gives for all forgiveness the most merciful. Great, mashallah. So now... Nine, uh, 99 and 100. Father Brother Amsha. And when they came in before you, so he took his parents to himself and said, Enter Egypt if Allah wills in security. And he raised his parents to the arsh, and they fell down before him prostrate. And he said, O oh my father, this is the interpretation of my dream aforetime. 
my Lord has made it come true. He said indeed good to me when he took me out of the prison and brought you all here out of the Bedouin life. <coughs> After Shaitan had sworn enmity <coughs> between me and my brother, certainly my Lord is of the most courteous and kind unto whom he wills. Truly he is only, he is all-knowing and all-wise. Great. So in Ayah, Ayah 93, so we'll take it one by one, inshallah. 93, when it says, Idhabu, Idhabu biqamisi hadha. So he, uh, Yusuf is the one that's given the instruction. After he said what? After he said, La tathrib alaykum al No, No reproach on you this day. Right? Yaghfiru Allahu lakum. Allah will forgive you. And he is the, the, the most merciful of those who show mercy. Then he, now that he forgave them, now that they felt like guilty, he says, Idhabu bi qamisi hada, return with this shirt of with this shirt of mine. And then they said, Fa'alquhu ala wajhi abi yati basiran. And cast it over the face over his face, over the face of my father, right? Over his face, the face of my father. Ya'ti basiran, his vision will return. Yaqub salam, because of excessive crying, lost his sight. Because of excessive crying, he lost his sight. Wa'tuni bi ahlikum jami'an. Bi ahlikum ajma'in. Jay? So now here, and come, what tuni come to me, right? Bring bring me. What ati bring me, right? Be ahlikum your family, ajmain all your family. But this ajmain means all, right? All your family. It could be all the village, all the tribe, but it actually is a general term, but it is specific. Some terms in the Quran they're general but it actually means specific. And some are specific, but actually means general. So here it means the brothers. The immediate family, ajma'in. Bi ahlikum ajma'in, your immediate family, bring them together, all of them. Because now that's gonna be the interpretation of the dream. Right, so here. When the caravan departed. Departed from where? From Egypt. Okay. Qala abuhum, their father said, Yaqub said to the children, those that remained with him. Some left, some remained with him. Inni la'ajidu riha Yusuf. Once they departed, the, part of his family departed from Egypt. They departed in Canaan. And we're going to tell you the distance. Is like eight hour drive. Six days walking. Okay? So he said, once they departed, Yaqub salam said, Inni la ajiduri ha Yusuf. I smell Yusuf. Laula an tufannidun. But you, if only you didn't consider me to be. Sina, an old, right? If only you believed me. So now Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala said, when the caravan departed, when the caravan departed, a wind started blowing and brought the scent of Yusuf's shirt to Yaqub alayhi salam. When the caravan started, de departed. So he found his scent and the distance was eight days. According to the Mufassirin. According to Google Maps, right, it's different, right? But they didn't have Google Maps not back in the days. And, and the roads were different too. So maybe it, was, it, it did take eight days. Because there weren't as pavement and all that didn't exist, right? So, so it, he found the scent, the distance of eight days. But you think 
And they said, you th and Yaqub said, but you think that I have become a fool or old or that I'm crazy, right? They said, qalu, qalu, plural, they, right? Qalu tallahi. They said, by Allah, it's like swearing. Tallahi, innaka, and innaka, certainly. Right, and this in, in one of the translations it, it wasn't translated. Innaka, when no, when we were reading, in one of the translations it wasn't translated. Qalu tallahi innaka, certainly you. La fi dalalikal qadim, you are back to your old ways. You are back to the to the way when when you lost Yusuf. <coughs> You, you, you're, you're back to your old ways in error, right? Thinking that you're going to find Yusuf, etc., etc. Ibn Abbas said that they meant that because of your love for Yusuf, you will never forget Yusuf. You will never forget him. So they utter a harsh word towards him. Because even though they went through all that, right? The only thing that they wanted was use of status in the, in, the, in the sight of the father. They went through all of that from the beginning of the story. They want to get rid of Yusuf, and then they want to be good, so that then they can be the best children, right? So, so because after all of this, they still, they said, you never forget him. You always... You, you know, so they utter harsh word. What, what was the harsh word? Innaka lafi dalalika in misguidance. Who is saying that? The sons. Sons are not there. Yet. Some of them stayed. Not all of them went. Is that according to your Google map? They just started and. Went. No, some. So some the ones that went, the one that went to Yusuf, uh -huh. some of them stayed behind. Oh. Those that stayed behind, are talking with the father. And those that went are bringing the shirt. You see? So it says that, so they uttered the harsh word. What is the harsh word? That to say that, oh father, you are misguided. That's number one. Number two, it, and it's more important than that, which is what? That they, they as servants of God are addressing a prophet of God. That's a status above the father. So they can't address a prophet of God who only acts upon revelation by telling them you're misguided. So that's the harsh word that they said. Now, fast forward. And when... It's mad, right? That's what it means. It's put in emphasis. And Right, and when they arrived, Ja al Bashiru. Now, who is al Bashir? Al Bashir is a person specifically, right? Al Bashiru, Al Qahu. Anybody can guess who al Bashiru is? Bashir means the person. Yeah, who's that? What's his name? Um, the eldest one. Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Why? How do you know? Oh my God. <laughs> Good. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. I'm gonna call you I need otherwise, mashallah. Good. <laughs> Good, mashallah. So here Al Bashir, so you see his status? I see Judah's status that when the brothers were going to throw were going to kill Yusuf, Uktulu Yusuf. He said, Don't kill Yusuf, La Taktulu Yusuf. But throw him in the well, right? And then, so he also comes over again, right? So this is so three times in three different incidents. Now he said, فَلَمَّا أَنْ جَاءَ الْبَشِيرُ أَلْقَاهُ عَلَى وَجْهِهِ And then he threw, the, he threw the shirt, or he put the shirt, right, in the, in the face of his father. وَجْهِهِ That he goes to the father, the hat. Fartadda, fartadda, you know the word ridda, right? Returning, leaving Islam, right? Like apostasy, 
Fartadda's return. Right? Fartadda. So here Fartadda is his vision returned. Fartadda mm Basira. -hmm. And he returned to be able to see. Qala, now what did, what did Yaqul say? Right? Qala, alam aqul lakum inni a'lamu min Allahi ma la ta'lamun. He said, didn't I tell you, didn't I tell you all that verily, because he's met. So he's putting emphasis on what he's saying. That verily I inni that verily I know about Allah that which you do not know. Right? So subhanAllah, then the, the giver of glad tidings arrived, he cast the shirt over the face of his father, the vision returned in the translation. He said, Did I not say that to you that I know from Allah that which you do not know? So the bearer of good news was uh, Yahuda. In Arabic, Judah in English. So he brought Yusuf's shirt stained with, with what? Dem al kadib. False blood. Dem al kadib. Right? So kadib means to lie. But kadib also means falsehood. In this case, it's not li a lying blood because the blood doesn't lie. Right, so it's Demin Kadib, which is a, f a false blood. So, Yehuda was the brother? Yeah, the, uh, the eldest. The eldest. The one that told him not to kill him as well. So That's Reuben. The eldest is Yehuda. Rubil, correct. Rubil is the other brother. Reuben, yes. So he was the one who, uh, who liked You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Rubil was the one, yes. Yahuda is, is in this case. Yes, yes, you're right. So Rubil was the one, Reuben was the one that told him, don't kill Yusuf. Mm -hmm. Correct. So he, so he liked, so, he, so Judah or Yahuda wanted to make things better. So he followed the instructions of Yusuf alayhi salam. Yusuf says, Idhabu biqamisi hada, and throw it in his face. So he can read his sight will return. So Yahuda wanted to follow the instruction because he wanted to kind of expiate some of the errors for what they did, right? With a good act. Because Allah says in the Quran, right, exchange the, the, the sins with a good deed. So follow the sins with a good deed. When you, so this is something that we should practice. When we make a mistake, we should try to immediately follow it with a good deed. Give sadaqah. Say something. Make somebody smile. Just follow any sin with, or anything that you feel. Right? Because what is sin? The Prophet ﷺ described, sin is that which inside here, it causes you discomfort. That's it. If it bothers you, and you, and you don't like people to know about it. Right? He, that's what he describes sin. So if you have that, that it's something you don't like, that you're ashamed of, or this and that, then just exchange it with something that is good. So Yahuda wanted to do it, so he followed the instructions of Yusuf salam by bringing the Yusuf's shirt, placing it on his father's shirt, on his father's face, as is mentioned in Ayah, the instruction is mentioned in Ayah 93. Yaqub salam said, did I not say that I know from Allah that which you do not know? He meant, I know, I knew, right? I knew, I knew that Allah was going to return Yusuf to me. Remember when I said, I indeed feel the smell of Yusuf when they departed from Egypt. He said, remember when I said that? That I did feel the smell of Yusuf? And, but you thought of me to be a senile, to be a fool, right? Now they, they're like, it's true. He said that he smelled him, 
the cat, how does he know? There was no smartphone, there was no Snapchat, there was no Facebook. Like, send a message on WhatsApp. Did you guys depart? Are you almost here? Where are you? Oh, I'm just leaving Egypt. Okay, right? Send a message, send a, send, you know, send a, uh, uh, <laughs> but there's no, there's no, you know, I have the smiley face. There's no button to send a smell, right? Send a smell, we're coming. So now, Qalu 97, 98. Qalu ya Now they say, oh, our father. Istaghfir lana. Dhunubana. Seek forgiveness for our sins. All of our sins. They didn't say, one of them didn't say, Dhunubi, my sins. No, they said, seek forgiveness for all of our sins. Inna kunna khadi'in. We were wrong. We were mistaken. We were sinful. We were wrong. Qala sawfa. Sawfa enters the fa'l al-mudari. When is al-fa'l al-mudari astaghfiru. I am seeking forgiveness. Sawfa, I, I will seek forgiveness. Sawfa, I will. Like, or sa'adhab. Right, I will go. Sin or Salfa, those are two that enter the Fa'l al Right, uh, right there? Salfa astaghfiru, Salfa astaghfiru lakum, Rabbi, my Lord, innahu, huwa. Why did he, did Allah added huwa? Look at this. Innahu. If the ha there goes back to Allah. Innahu huwa al ghafuru al rahim. Similar to look like the, uh, the, the first ayah in Qul huwa Allah. Qul huwa Allah ahad. Right? Qul say, right? O oh, Muhammad. Huwa. Huwa, what is it? Is it singular, duo, or plural? Singular, right? Singular. Hua. Singular. Singular. One. One hua. Allahu. The definition of Allah. The only Lord worthy of worship. The only one, right? It also is one. Qul hua. Allahu. Ahad. The only one. So all is put in emphasis in the oneness of Allah, in that, in that one ayah. Even through grammar. So here, إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ So they said, our father asked forgiveness for our sins, indeed we have been sinners. He said, I will ask my Lord for forgiveness for you. Verily he, only he, is all forgiven the most merciful. Abdullah ibn Masud radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that and other 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 mufassirin they said that Yaqub alayhi salam didn't seek forgiveness right there and then. He reserved it for the night. We know the value of the dua at night. So he reserved it. Now Yaqub alayhi salam when he now he went to Egypt, right? So this is Ayah 90, Ayah 99, 99 to 100. He went to Egypt, right? So when he went to Egypt, he traveled to reunite with Yusuf alayhi salam because Yusuf requested to bring all of the family, includes father, mother. So the distance from Canaan to Egypt, according to Google, six days, eight hour drive. When Yusuf السلام, received the news that they arrived, right? In the ayah that says, Falamma dakhalu ala Yusuf. Right? When they enter, when they enter, right? When, when they enter upon Yusuf. Here, it is said that in, the, in Ibn Kathir, that when they arrived, the king, look, at, it's not the king ordered the princess. And the notables to go out to make a celebration 
to welcome the family of Yusuf. Right? And the king also went specifically to meet Yaqub alayhi salam. You see how, how this, subhanAllah, how it, it turned out to be. So Yusuf alayhi salam, he went out. He found out that they were coming. So he went out to welcome them. Right? He went out to welcome them. But not only that, with him was the king, the princes, the notables. And there was a celebration to welcome them. Right? Now what did he, now what he says, Awa ilayhi abawayhi. So he, he drew to himself Awa ilayhi Right? He drew to himself his parents. So what? A hug, a kiss, reuniting. Pa uh, parents and son. Right? Parents and son. After so many years from childhood to adolescence when he reached maturity, that Allah gave him hukman, and wisdom and knowledge, made him a prophet officially. And he went through all these phases, went through all these different environments. Finally, he gets to reunite with his father. Right? The two that were the main uh, part of the story, which is his love, the love of Yaqub for Yusuf so now he drew upon he drew his, his his parents towards him. And he says, what did he say immediately? Waqala and Yusuf said, Udkulu Misra insha'Allah Aminin. Enter Egypt inshallah in security. Right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states that Yaqub went to Yusuf. Yusuf asked his brothers to bring the family and they all departed. Okay, that's already there. Waqala, when he said enter in, in, to, in Egypt, if Allah wills in security. This means in security, safely, but also in security from the hardship that you were going through, the famine, right? The hardship, the famine that they suffered back home, right? Now here you're not going to suffer like this. So you will be in security, health-wise. You will have food, right? So th this is what it means. Awa ilayhi abawai, and he took his parents to himself. His parents, his father, and his mother. Warafa abawaihi ala al Now look at what what a son does, right? And what a child should do, right? What a child should do. Because sometimes when we become old, right, our, our children become busy and somehow neglect us, right? No looking at each other, please. I know you guys came together as a family, but no, but that's right. But that happens, right? And that's a sad reality. That's a sad reality. But but look at this that we have here. I met a lady in Sweden. And subhanAllah, she came to me, she said, I'm lonely. I have no friends. And in that environment, people are not, if you're not part of a clique, you don't penetrate. So you stay, even in the masjid, you're by yourself. And she said, and my son's getting older, and he's busy, and I'm home alone. My husband's just working, trying to provide. What do I do? What do I do? I have no friends, no friends, not even in the masjid, no friends whatsoever. Right? So this is different. This is when these brothers come from, when these brothers come from, from, from Sweden, they came for the, they came for the conference, they came for the conference, the, 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 the Igna conference in, in, uh, in Baltimore. No, I'm sorry, they came for the ISNA conference in Chicago. And they said what they experience that, that they don't have in Sweden is walking out and people saying in the morning, good morning, how are you, good morning, good afternoon. There's simple things that we 
Sometimes we pass by our neighbors, good morning. Right? This simple thing, you don't have that over there. People don't talk to each other. It's considered, by statistics, one of the best countries in the world. Right? It is. Because of the system that it has that takes care of the people. But it also has one of the highest rates of suicide. So, just to show that, that, that situation, right? That situation. So here, Yusuf takes his, takes his father, his, par his parents, to him. And raised them, put them in, in the throne. That's what we should do. Raise them up. As they raised us, raised us up, raised, raised them up. So he sat them, right, according to Ibn Abbas and Mujahid, and immediately, right, and, and, and then the brothers followed through as well. They followed through, and when they followed through, all they, they were there, all 11, with Yusuf, all 11, and and they all bow down. They all bow down. In honor, not worship, in honor of Yusuf salam. What did Yusuf salam say immediately? وَقَالَ يَا أَبَتِي هَذَا تَأْوِيلُ رُؤْيَايَ مِنْ قَبْلِ Oh, my father, that is the interpretation that wheel is also used in modern tense, in modern tense nowadays within the people of knowledge. That wheel is used for misinterpretation of, 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 of verses of the Quran. Oh, he's making that wheel. He's making, but that wheel is used sometimes interchangeably with tafsir. Here, that wheel is interpretation, is meaning. So Tawil and Tafsir is used interchangeably. So here, قَالَ يَا أَبَتِ هَذَا تَأْوِيلُ رُؤْيَايَ مِنْ قَبْلِ That is the meaning. That is the interpretation of that dream that I had before. SubhanAllah, right? Now, and he says, the, which dream inni ra'aytu ahada ashara kawkaban wa shamsa wal qamar ra'aytu li sajidin and when I saw 11 stars and the sun and the moon I saw them to me bowing down right look at and look at the status not only that look at the status that Allah gave the suns what did he make them rocks he made them stars Right now we go to we go to Hollywood to go and see the stars in the floor. Right? Right? We go see the stars in the floor. Here Allah, Allah gave them this status. And they didn't even know. They were jahilin, right? They were ignorant. They didn't know that Allah gave them this status. Because you, because Yaqub told this told Yusuf, don't tell them about the dream. Because Shaitan will come in between you. Right? So, this is the dream. So now, to Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Here, in the laws of these previous prophets, it was allowed in the law. And this is the law before. Some of the laws before were abrogated. Were abrogated, meaning that they they abrogated with the Sharia that the Prophet came with. But some of the laws were universal that were applied in the Torah and in the in the in the Suh of Ibrahim, in the Suh of Musa and in the Injil. Some of them were universal. Like for example the hadith that we covered on Monday, which was Min Husni Islam al Mar'i Yani. From the good character of the believer is that he leaves that which doesn't concern him. Right? When Abu Dhar asked the Prophet Sallallahu about about the Suh of Ibrahim in, in the explanation that the Prophet gave, there was a mention of this, that one, that one of the things that, that the believer does is that he leaves that which doesn't concern him. When, he, when Abu Dhar asked the Prophet, tell me about, about Suhuf Musa, about the pages of Musa. 
and he explained and also was mentioned as well that he leaves that which doesn't concern him. And then after that, Abu Dhar said, now advise me, Ya Rasulullah. So he connected all three, Suhuf Ibrahim, Suhuf Musa, and then, and then the Prophet said that قَدْ أَفْلَهَ مَنْ تَزَكَّى وَذَكَرَ اسْمَ رَبِّهِ فَصَلَّى بَلْ تُؤْثِرُونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ وَأَبْقَى إِنَّ هَذَا لَفِي سُحُفِ الْأُولَى سُحُفِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُوسَى Right? So here, in the laws of the, in the previous law, and they, in, 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 in Usul al-Fiqh, they call it شَرْعًا مَا قَبْلَهُ قَبْلَنَا The شَرْعًا that was before us. Right? So here, in those laws, it was allowed for people to prostrate in front of people of authority, men of people of authority. This practice was allowed, the angels bow down to Adam, in the law of Isa, but it was prohibited in Islam. Islam made prostration exclusively for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the the Prophet Sallallahu said that the servant is closest to his Lord wa huwa sajid. The servant is closest to his Lord when he is in sujood. Right? Now there was a Mu'ad ibn Jabal when he went, he visited Sham. And we're almost concluded inshallah. He found them prostrating to their, before their priest. When he returned to Medina, he prostrated to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu who said, Ma hada ya Mu'ad? What is this, O Mu'ad? Mu'ad said, I saw that the people of the book prostrate to their priest. However, you, O Messenger of Allah, deserve more. You're a prophet, you're a Messenger of Allah. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, Law kuntu amiran ahadan. أَنْ يَسْجُدَ لِأَحَدٍ لَأَمَرْتُ الْمَرْأَ أَنْ تَسْجُدَ لِزَوْجِهَا لِعِذَمْ حَقِّهِ عَلَيْهَا So he said, if I, were to, if I were to ask anyone to prostrate before anyone, it doesn't mean that we have to do it. Don't take it as a, as a command. Right? I would, don't take it, the brothers. Don't take it as your, as your pass. Don't abuse it. This was, he mentioned, he said, I would order the wife to bow down to the husband. Now, but what is the characteristic of this husband as well? He asked, uh, the, the, I'm, I'm trying to, sisters, I got, I, I, I got your back like this in, 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 in Jairiya, right? And he said, if. If, now, mm. low, he said low, and low is first, if. So remember that, sister. When anybody says the hadith without the law, says no, Rasulullah says I'm call a law. If. No, but the husband never asked to bow down. They just said learn from. Uh huh? You know, the husband never asked the wife to bow down. They just said learn from. Because the husbands are hu humble yeah. and they're responsible yeah. and they're good people. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> 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 we don't have no one here that looks excited like, yes, I was looking for this all my life. <laughs> you know, some men are like that. And they'll use it. That's the only hadith that they will use in their life. <laughs> but Imam, nobody wants to travel eight days for a few hundred miles, you know. I know, right? So, uh, <laughs> so here, so he, so therefore, this practice was allowed in the previous law. And this is where ya Yaqub and his wife and the 11 sons, they prostrated to Yusuf. And then Yusuf salam said, Oh, my father, this is the interpretation of my dream. And Allah made it true. So, This is it's okay, it's explaining the word. It's explaining the word ta'wil. We don't need to explain it, we already did. We already did, inshallah. Then it says, to conclude, قَدْ uh, أَحْسَنَ إِذَا أَخْرَجَ Yeah, so now when إِذْ إِذْ أَخْرَجَنِي مِنَ السَّجَنِ How Allah was good to me, right? When He took me out of prison. وَجَاءَ and is mad, right? 
Remember, this mad, when there's mad, that means that what, how many letters? Waja, Sheikh, no, let's Sheikh, Sheikh, Jamil, because he has a jaza in Qur'an. Waja, kam, 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 haraka, kam? More than six. Right? Minimum six. Minimum six, okay. Waja, right, yeah. So here, Waja, and there's a Hamza after, right? So here, so that means what? That means letters, right? Letters, right? So that means there's a rule in Arabic, is ziyadat al-mabna, ziyadat al-ma'na. Yeah. Kamal al-mabna, right? So, so, so the more you increase in the composition of a word, more letters, that means that the meaning is more, more significant. The, the, the meaning also increases. So that's how when, we, when that's how when I prolong is because in the meaning when I prolong when I do math in English is because of the meaning right when it says that waja abikum and he brought you from the Bedouin he brought you all bikum he brought you all from the Bedouin from the Bedouin life. From the desert, right? From the desert. Innahu, innahu huwa al-alimul hakim. He is the knower, the all-knowing. What he is all-knowing of what benefits the servant, and he is the wise. He is the wise in his statements, Allah's statements. Allah is the wise in his actions. Allah is the wise in his decrees, Allah is the wise in the preordainment, and Allah is the wise and he chooses what he wills. So inshallah ta'ala next week we will do ayah, we're only going to do one ayah, ayah 101, like I said, which is the ayah where Yusuf is saying to Allah how grateful he is for teaching him the, the ta'wil, for blessing him with with so much with, with, with so much blessings in, in, in the dunya and the akhirah, recognizing that Allah is the wali, right? And that also the dua that he made, Oh Allah, make me die as a Muslim and make me join the righteous. We wanna we wanna focus on each of these parts of the of the ayah, inshallah ta'ala. Barakallah fikum subhanakallah wa bihamdi kashadu wa la ilaha tastahrakatulay. وصلى الله مبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين واخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله